Hello and welcome to the first of many of your weekly video forecasts. We're going to do your weekly video forecast this week from inside of my astrology software. And we have a pretty powerful week coming up, uh, which is an astrologer's way of saying that there's a lot of explosive and tense aspects. But um, there's also some positive energy that's there because it seems to suggest that the tension that's there creates opportunity. Let's focus on the difficulty first so that we can have a clear understanding of what's going on. I'm going to bring up my annotation tool just so I can highlight a few of the things in the chart for you so that you can have a clear understanding. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got Mercury. Okay, On either side of Mercury, you've got the Sun. And on the other side, you've got something that's called Rahu. Rahu is the Vedic name for the North Node. The North and South Node are the points that create eclipses. Now, both of these planets are somewhat harsh planets. So when Mercury is sandwiched in between them, it creates a difficult and tense situation for Mercury to deal with. And this is happening on a week where Mercury is forming a lot of aspects. Um, early in the week, Mercury is going to be forming an opposition to Neptune. And what this speaks about is the potential to get drawn into a drama, because Neptune in a section of the sky called Shatabisha, which is um, a lunar mansion, which are specific to Vedic astrology, um, but a, the lunar mansion of Shatabisha can have the propensity to draw one into a drama. It relates to a healing crisis. But it's a healing crisis where you're being given an opportunity hidden beneath all the difficulty and drama that you're dealing with to work more harmoniously with yourself and potentially to work more in harmony with another individual. And this happens on a week where in addition to Mercury forming an aspect with Neptune, it forms a harmonious alignment with Pluto. And that word harmonious can be somewhat deceiving because even though it, these two planets are working in harmony with each other, it does bring some tension because we're dealing with Pluto. It means some difficult facts may have to be faced, some hard truths may have to be understood and also spoken by any parties involved in the situation. Um, it can create a situation where there's some unexpected news that comes to the surface because we're also dealing with a lot of Uranus aspects this week. At the same time that Mercury forms an aspect with uh, Pluto, meaning this week Mercury forms an aspect with Pluto, and Mercury forms an opposition with Neptune, later on in the week it forms a tense aspect known as a quincunx with Uranus. And this concurs about a day after Mars will be forming the same aspect with Uranus, which is really powerful because Uranus is in Aries, which is ruled by Mars, which makes this very explosive. The meaning of it? Well, first we need to take a look at what's going on with Uranus and the South Node, which we're going to bring uh, to the front of our attention. Once I bring up my annotation tool, we're going to circle Uranus, which is... If you know anything about Iranian energy, it's somewhat random, it's very revolutionary, and it's also very chaotic. Now, over the course of the rest of this year, the next several months, Uranus and the South Node are going to be closing in on a conjunction with each other. The South Node itself is also a very chaotic astrological energy. So it unleashes the energy of Uranus and makes it a little more explosive. So if things have been feeling tense, chaotic, a little bit scattered in your life lately, this is the reason why. I would say the energy is one where we can sense that something new is about to be created about to be created, pardon me, um, and perhaps we feel a little bit uneasy about the tension which is associated with creating that new energy, the um, idea that we have to let go of something old but something new has not yet begun and we're somewhat in a state of limbo, and it makes us feel a little bit sensitive. In addition to that, we've got the sun, which is going to be setting off a tense aspect both with, I'm going to draw lines up here, Uranus this week, and also with Pluto. 
it forms a sesquiquadrate with um, Pluto. And the day that it does that, I'm just looking for my details here, if you'll bear with me, is early in the week, and then it forms a sesquiquadrate with Uranus later in the week, both very explosive aspects, which are saying that the new has not yet begun, but the old is definitely ending. And some hard truths are having to be faced in relation to that. Now, the things that are coming to the surface with that are the concepts of dignity, strength of spirit. We want to focus on strength of spirit and dignity. The negative things that we don't want to focus on are pride and arrogance, both of which have a propensity to come to the surface during times like this. Some things that are difficult to be taken in and digested are likely to rise to the surface this week. And something that makes us feel as if our dignity or uh, pride is somewhat injured. But really, in essence, if we look inside and we're really willing to face the changes that are on offer, and we're willing to be somewhat humble, there's a lot on offer to it. Pardon me, a lot on offer to us this week. Um, because also at the beginning of this week, we've got a very powerful and positive connection between Jupiter and Venus, both also in Leo. So this is something that says if you can hold love in your heart, if you can hold faith in your mind and love in your heart, and if you can use wisdom and if you can be flexible to roll with the changes that are there, because on the day that Venus and Jupiter are conjuncting each other, there's a Gemini moon that's somewhat weakening. But nevertheless, if you bring your focus to the energy that's there, it will become stronger. Both Venus and Jupiter are in a section of the sky that's called Ashlesha. Ashlesha relates to serpents and wisdom, but also potential. And many times, Ashlesha brings unexpected situations to the forefront of our attention. But if we're paying attention with awareness to what's going on, there's a lot that we stand to learn from that experience. If you combine this, <clears throat> pardon me, with the fact that we're approaching a new moon on the 25th in Virgo, but also in a section of the sky that's called Porva Palguni. And we want to focus on Porva Palguni next, which is ruled by Venus, uh, which is very positive because it means this Venus-Jupiter conjunction will somewhat support the energy of Porva Palguni. So coming on the tail end of all these difficult and challenging um, aspects and tension that rises to the surface and hard truths that have to be met and understood and digested, there is also the propensity for integration and an understanding of how you can work more in harmony with yourself in the future. If you've acted with wisdom in this situation, you'll recognize the benefit of doing so, and you'll recognize how you can work more in harmony with yourself in the future. When there are difficult situations to be dealt with with another individual this week, Mercury in Porva Palguni, and later on in the week when the sun moves into that section of the sky, um, it will be supported if you speak with diplomacy with the individual that you're dealing with, because we're talking about Venus, which is the planet of grace, and Jupiter, which is about wisdom, intuition. And when those two connect with each other and they're in Leo, we have a strength of spirit, yes. We have a strength of potential. So it's about honoring yourself, but it's about honoring the other through speaking diplomatically. If there's something honest that you need to say, which you perhaps recognize might be difficult for another to understand, do so with a sense of grace. Do so with a sense of calmness. Do so with love, understanding, and compassion in your heart, even if you're feeling angry. <laughs> That's a very difficult thing to do. But just recognize that everybody is going through their own individual sets of circumstances, each of which can be very difficult and challenging, especially during this difficult, intense week that we're working through. So grace, diplomacy, wisdom, and flexibility or what gets you through these tense aspects this week. On the tail end of that, there's powerful changes, positive changes. To the extent that you put the work in, that's the benefit that you get out. That's going to do it for this week's video forecast. Um, until next time, I hope that you'll take very good care of yourself.